Good morning, everyone, and happy Independence Day Monday. As many of you know, I often return to the songs that I love for inspiration. And this past weekend, I revisited one called The Last Night of the World by Bruce Coburn. Three lines in particular never fail to bring a tear to my eye. I've seen the flame of hope among the hopeless, and that was truly the biggest heartbreak of all. That was the straw that broke me open. This makes me think back to almost seven years ago now when we took those first few tentative, fearful steps into a greater awareness of poverty, hunger, homelessness, and addiction in our community, and indeed in our very own church neighborhood. And oh, what things we saw and what stories we heard in those first few months of that initial outreach that would become our agape ministry. Those stories were educational, they were eye-opening, and yes, they were heartbreaking in their apparent hopelessness. We would listen to and befriend the folks we serviced, and we would make our first few feeble attempts to help while secretly admitting to feeling hopeless ourselves and adding any empowering light to the darkness of their condition. What really knocked some of us sideways, however, was the reality that the stronger measure of hope often came from the very victims of tough circumstances, physical and mental illness, and bad choices. It was Jeremy, for example, who would say, I'm homeless and there's only so much I can do to present myself the way I want to, but I've worked too hard to be certified and I'm going to walk the three miles to that job fair no matter how hot it is. And then Cassandra would say, oh, I've been backsliding with the drinking, but I know now that pastor's praying for me and I'm going to get myself right for that job interview tomorrow morning. And then there was 14 year old Emily saying, family promise is going to help us get our own place and I'm going to keep my grades up and I'm going to be the first in my family to go to college. And I'll have a career that can help me take care of everybody someday. How ironic it was in those days that those we served were showing us the light of hope, as well as the reason for and the power of agape. Yes, our first reaction was increased heartbreak that these people of all ages would continue to hope against all odds and against the skepticism even of many who serve them. But that hope also broke us open, as Coburn sings. And this church began a journey into agape, where the ever-expanding grace of feeding, fellowship, prayer and counseling, nursing, resource and job steering, and Bible study led to greater empowerment and community and fanned that flame of hope. And now, as our agape ministry strives once again to welcome community old and new back into our church, may we remember the value of this Christ-centered love through which all may find their freedom. Have a great week.